Hello, my name is John Weiss and I'm a fire captain with Willard Fire and Rescue. Today's training session, I will be showing you how to complete a checklist. There are currently two types of checklist in the Image Trend Elite system, scheduled and on demand. Scheduled would be scheduled at a certain uh, date, whether it's daily, weekly, monthly, the first Monday of the month, etc. When those scheduled checklists are available, they basically become available at midnight and they're available for 24 hours and then they drop off the system. So once we get the ambulance checks up and running, they actually will be available at midnight, even though the shift may be coming on at 7 o'clock. That checklist will be available basically until 11.59 and 59 seconds. Once it strikes midnight again, that daily check is no longer available and a new one for that day becomes available. The other type of checklist is on-demand checklist. These are basically always available and you basically go and just click to start a new one. So for example, the paper monthly checklist that we used to have and are still doing, um, that's now logged under the checklist as a monthly on-demand checklist. To get to our checklist, you basically come up here to your switch to, and your switch to is how you change to all of your different modules. Typically, when you come to this, you're going to be here for your fire and EMS incidents. The system does remember the last switch to or the module that you've been logged into. So you click your switch to, checklists are over here under your switch to column. This is where you switch to all your different modules here and click checklist. Clear to the left you have view existing. So this is going to show like your current checklist uh, scheduled you can also have then your create new on-demand checklist here. So there's two ways to start that on-demand checklist. I can click here and it's going to basically come up and ask what kind of a checklist or which one I want to do. Right now we just have the monthly checklist available. Or once you click checklist and this is what's showing now this here so this is actually showing there are two daily checklists that have not been started so either way you can get to your daily or on-demand checklist rather so if I click new here I can go back and right here I already have my monthly checklist so I click the link and now it opens the checklist the categories on the side here equipment filters, fire safety, mileage and hours, and the radio test. On the right side then, these are basically all of the subsections for each of these categories or sections that are on the left. So calibrate the meters for 913, 921, the four gas sensit, CO, and the ray meters. You just click, uh, put your date and time in there if you need to adjust it. The notes section, you see the red has already gone, so that red exclamation point means it's required. If you've logged the date and time, it meets that. If you would like, you, then you can enter notes. So, all meters pass the test. And let's put that we're getting low on the calibration gas so that way when this goes out everybody can see that we're getting low and uh, this will also checklist will also go to the chief he wants to be included on these he can see that we're getting low on the calibration gas so whether we need to order that or to work out something with the EMA etc uh, run all the generators we can say you know okay or you know no issues or problems, HVAC filters on the roof unit, uh, were they changed on the roof, yes, uh, furnace filters checked for training uh, for the unit for the training room, date and time, were they changed, let's say no that they were not changed, fire safety, so the fire alarm system, monthly test, the inspection of the horns, alarms, strobes, etc. That's for the fire station. 
So, and then again, enter any notes for anything that, you know, you have. Fire extinguisher, uh, the monthly station inspection. I know one time we found that they had missed one in 931. So let's put, you know, 931 fire extinguisher was missed. Needs to be inspected and tagged. Fire sprinkler system, the inspection port. So let's just put date and time here, but uh, not performed due to weather. So let's say that, you know, right now, if it's going to cause, you know, icy or a hazard uh, area there in the parking lot, let's just put that it was not done due to the weather. City Hall fire extinguishers, let's say they were done, no issues, or if you, you know, informed them that the date is soon approaching. Log uh, the fleet miles and hours. So if you've wrote that down and gave it to the chief, we can also add that in on the monthly checklist as well or create another on-demand checklist to do the mileage with and the monthly radio test. So the monthly radio test is the last one here. You can see that uh, still have the red exclamation point. If you look at the top here, we have OK. So I can click OK and go out of that. It shows right here that here's the monthly station checklist. It's modified by me and what date and time that kind of modified on. If I click this and go back in, still see that I have one left here. Now, if you notice, submit is grayed out. Once I click here, and I'm going to click the date and time, it now satisfies that required field that I've entered something in here, and I'm just going to put test OK with the hospital, and now submit is available. So now submit, once I click that, it's now submitted this monthly checklist. So you can see that it's submitted and it's also locked it. The other thing that it did was it automatically then sends an email out. And I'm going to try to pull this. So right here, you can see this is the email that I just received. So checklist date, so right here, and the status is submitted. Started on, here's the date and time it was started on, and by who. So this could be, it. we started it on shift three, and then last modified on, uh, this could be shift one or shift two, that actually then finished it and submitted it. Then it's divided up into all the different categories here. So that's our equipment, filters, fire safety, the mileage and hours, and radio test. And then you can see the answers here. So the monitors we calibrated, here was the date and time it was logged, and then the comments. So this way, as soon as you click it and submit it, everybody can see if there were you know, issues. You can also then print this out from an email perspective, or you can also click right here in the system. If you look here, over to the right, you can click and print this right here. So if we still wanted to keep a paper copy, we could, you know, print this out, etc., keep it on a log or just keep it in the system. If you have any questions, please contact me. Again, this was just a short training video on scheduled and non-scheduled checklist. Thank you.